Hey, how you doing folks? This is your host Mike Pugh and you're watching FPC Virtual. I am the host of FPC Virtual. I'm also the host of Cloud Explorer on YouTube. It's a new channel that I put up but this particular channel is dedicated to mostly tutorial videos, basketball sporting videos. I do training which I help people to learn the differing drills and things of that nature. I do vlogs, I do tech and pretty much I try to do some freestyle I throw things in there every now and then and I do dry comedy because I'm more of a serious technical type of guy I don't consider myself to be an expert and I never will because I'm always learning you know we all gotta learn something from what we experience online or offline so my skills is just an accumulation of things that I learned over time so enough about me what I'm doing right now is helping out my brother. My brother needs some a little bit of lessons and tutorials on video editing. So if you guys want to learn as well, please hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to watch more of these differing tutorials that I do. I've been recently doing more of graphics, trying to do basic graphics using Microsoft Paint. So let's move on. We're going to go into the tutorial. Uh, right here on the top right corner is going to be your actual profile link that you should be able to click use your, your left click mouse button if you're just starting out on YouTube and basically you're gonna click that icon if you don't have your own customized thumbnail for an actual profile on your one channel your YouTube one channel what you're gonna do is edit this here to get it in and it's coming and stemming from your actual Google Plus page but we're not going to work on that. We're just going to get you to the actual Creator Studio. So we're going to get you to the Creator Studio. From there, we'll move you to what is known as the Video Editor for YouTube or the YouTube Video Editor, also known as YouTube Editor. So you click this Create Studio. This is the location you're going to land on. So I'll do that again. You click your icon then you click this creator studio so when you click it it's gonna land you right here the clicking obviously is your left click mouse button for those who are novice and not web savvy so here we go and then you're gonna go to the left mid section here the left mid of your actual creator studio and you're gonna click create so you'll notice that you're, you're going to be defaulted to the audio library so your your next phase would be to look for the video editor which is directly below the audio library so you're going to click video editor and that's going to bring you to this location which basically is a way for YouTube to allow you to edit videos on its most basic level um, you can't do the more advanced stuff using this video editor because they limit you to only being able to access certain toolings like being able to use a cut so down here they call it a split but it's basically cutting the video clips down the middle or halving it or getting maybe a fraction of a second or actually a fraction of a sec second is kinda hard to cut so you're gonna have to cut it down to like maybe one second three seconds things of that nature and you're gonna make little small clips out of your actual videos so right here in this section where you see all these nice fancy looking things right these little squares these are videos you can actually test them and play them here so this is your search area where you're gonna find all the content that you need the video content that you actually either created or you can locate using these tools so you scroll down and these are all the videos that you have uploaded onto YouTube okay so if you haven't uploaded any videos onto YouTube you won't see all these videos here basically it's gonna be blank and have nothing in it but once you upload one video you're gonna see one here and then so on and so forth so it's gonna keep adding additional videos along the list of all your videos that you put in I have 
approximately 900 and some change videos, maybe 907 or 8 videos. It doesn't really matter how many videos you put up into YouTube. That doesn't determine your success rate on YouTube. What determines your success rate is the actual quality of your videos and your editing that you go through and the pizzazz of energy you put into it. Maybe it's a really cool catch of a video that you caught outside, you saw something happen. I caught a rain, uh, not a rain, but a hell storm and that was one of my first videos that did well. I didn't get all the big size large pieces of hail that hit on the floor. If I would have got that I probably would have made over a million views because they were really huge. They were like the size of baseballs and the size of softballs. But I did capture one piece which maybe helped a little bit with that video. So that's enough about how you can get the crowd to get connected to your actual content. It takes time. It takes a personality. You have to have a strong pers persona. If you have a good concept of your actual theme based type of a channel then you'll do well. People do pranks, people do all kinds of different things. You already seen and watched a great deal of YouTube videos I'm pretty sure so that gives you an idea of what you can come up with. So once you get your videos up in here basically you're gonna go for the tooling and you have different tools here. What I'm trying to do is help my brother learn how to do a cut and clip basically to, to clip these videos down so as you saw what I just did I just dragged it in I didn't even explain it to you but hold on one second I'm gonna give y'all guys a non view of my actual image so you can see everything that I'm doing alright so we're back and as you can see that actual webcam right here in the corner the bottom right corner disappeared so what I'm doing is increasing the length of the actual clip. What I mean by that is it's magnifying the physical view of the clip is making you see much more of the minutes. Right now I'm at 14.2 minutes for this video clip great deal of my videos are long because I'm doing tutorials so a lot of the tutorials are like this one I want people to know everything that they can possibly absorb through this video so I'm more of a personal trainer and uh, a go-to guy when it comes to whatever I experienced on YouTube on the YouTube platform for y'all guys to learn so I make sure I put out all that information all in one sum, one lump sum so you can get everything. So you can learn everything, you can get it into your brain and understand it. I don't want you to not know certain things when you go along. I want you to know everything. Just like I'm learning, you can take that information and go all the way as far as you can go. So basically, you got 14.2 minutes. So in order for you to expand the view of this particular video clip you gotta go through this zoom in feature on the bottom right and you take it and you scroll it out to the right the more you scroll it out you get a larger view or I should say a longer strip of a view this is the whole thing all the way up to 7 minutes and 37 seconds if you keep going to the right and you take this scroll bar you keep pulling it using your left click mouse button original originally it was on the left side of the screen now it's all the way on the right so I dragged it see it starts off far extreme left everything starts off the far extreme left and you're just gonna drag it out from zero minutes to 14 seconds so on and so forth so you keep dragging it out trying to go slow this is one minute 1.1 1 .1, point five nine seconds so you keep dragging it all the way out when you go all the way to the far right you're gonna be at 14 minutes so this is 14 minutes and 20 seconds to make it smaller so you can handle it a lot better you just drag it this way to the left as you can see the time increments start to come in view. You see? So you keep going until you see the whole thing. 
All right, so now look, you got 148, 335, 523, 710, so on and so forth. And now you can see the whole thing by scrolling very short distance to go back and forth. So if you look at this, this is like a time frame from 0 seconds to 14 minutes and 20 seconds. This is your whole time length. You can split it in half if you want to at 7 minutes and some change. So say we wanted to split it here. All you got to do is click the actual area between the minutes and the clip. So you click here and it takes this cross uh, hair type of thing, the blue line, with a little tiny scissor, it brings it onto that minute second location. Then you're going to click the actual little tiny scissor right here. See that blue scissor? You click it with your left click mouse button and that clips it, that cuts it. Now my brother also wanted to know how do you merge videos together? Well if you want another video you take another one of your videos, say it was this one, and you just drag it down to the bottom here and drop it. And there you go. Now you merge two different videos together. Say you wanted to clip that one into this one so let's cut this one down um, sometimes the video editor fails if it fails don't don't fret don't be afraid or nothing like that just click the reload of your browser here or you click in here and press enter it's the same exact thing so you click this little circle thing it resets it reloads it and sometimes the YouTube editor does fail so don't worry about that that's not a big deal it automatically stores and saves the content so you'll be able to go back to it so let's go we're gonna cut somewhere around here we just plan around at two minutes you use the clip again or split whatever they want to call that and then you take this one and say we wanted to shorten this one we can shorten it by using this extreme left blue blue tool and you drag it until where you want to drag it to. So say we wanted to drag it all the way over here. There you go. You just basically want to experiment. So you take this one and you drag it. You see these, these uh, hold on one second. You see this crosshair? This crosshair is only going to show up after you get out of the actual uh, clip. You, you enter the clip by clicking the whole clip when you're noticing you got the crosshair so you click it now it makes these bars show up you got a left blue bar and a right blue bar when you click out of it you can't click here you gotta click down here somewhere in the edit area so you click it's gonna make this blue bar go to the extreme left by default then you go over here again and you're gonna drag it and drop it now I dropped it in between here but I want to get it here you can also zoom lower and do it that way so you grab it drag it and drop it there you go. that's basically how you would clip videos shorten them and bring them down and combine them so basically what you have to do is play around with this tool get used to it play around play around keep messing around with shortening making clips longer See, I'm making it short, making it long, making it short, making it long. If you make it like this where it is no space in between, that's going to cause more of an error. So make sure you got space, at least that much space. Little small gap. Then you're going to press down here no in a no man zone. I call this no man zone or in here. Anywhere where you have nothing viewing, nothing showing. You click there and that makes the actual... Uh, clip hair type of thing what do they call this clip line I should call it they put the clip line or the split line to the far left it automatically defaults like I said before so now there's a little error Re reload again it'll start over but like I said it's gonna store and save unless you have an error up here and it says had an error saving I'll show you guys how to fix that error too in the future but um basically now you know how to move clips how to actually split them using the split tool 
split line tool 